Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Problem is simplify path. So see, let's see what the problem is. Uh, we are given a string path, which is an absolute path starting with a slash. So it is a path to a file or a directory in a Unix file system. We have to convert that path into simplified canonical path. In a Unix file system, a period dot refers to the current directory. A double period refers to a directory upper level. What does that mean? So see, if there is single dot, it means current, current directory. And if there are two dots, it means previous directory. So, for example, if we have some path like home slash file. So, if this is the current one and this is the parent directory. So, this we can refer as dot dot like if we have dot dot and this will be the current one file. Uh, to upper level and any multiple consecutive slashes like slashes are treated as a single slash. For this problem, any other format of period such as this, this, this are treated as file directory name. The canonical path shall uh, should have the following format. It should start with slash that is the whatever the path we have to convert it to canonical path. It should have a slash in the starting. So if you see in our output, we have slash in the starting slash and slash in the starting. Any two directories are separated by a single slash. If you see here. Home is a directory, foo is a directory and they are separated by a slash. The path does not end with a trailing slash. So here there is no slash after home. There is no slash after foo. Fine. Path only contain the directory on the path from root directory to target file or directory. There should be no dot, no double dot. See in the output there is no dots. Only either there is a slash between the directories. So see between the directories. There are slashes and the name of the directory, home, foo. I hope you understood the problem. Let's quickly see the test cases. So here, see, this is the path which is given to us. So we have to convert it into canonical path. In canonical path, path should start with a single slash. So single slash is there, name of the directory, home. And then there should not be trailing slash. So this trailing, trailing means the end slash. End is not end. There is no end slash. Now he, see here this one. Over here, uh, this basically this means that uh, we have to go one directory up. So here we will see what uh, this test case is about. So uh, let's see the next test case. Here see, these are we will ignore. So they have told here that if there are multiple consecutive slashes. We treat it as a single slash. So here slash in the beginning name of the directory. Then these double slashes are treated as a single slash and foo. And then we have this double slash. Fine. So now see. Let's take this example. Um, let's take this example. So if we have this example, something like this. So here in this one, this is like slash in the starting. After that, this is me. This means we have to go to the previous directory. Fine, previous directory. So if there is no here, there is no previous directory. Means we are we will be not going anywhere. So there is no previous directory here. Dot means go previous one directory up. That is the previous directory. So there is nothing. Hence in this one, we will get nothing. So we can just write this slash that is the home. So here what we have to uh, write is like we have to have uh, starting with the slash. Na? So that's why we have in the output a slash. Now let's see uh, this, out, uh, this input. We have this input. So let's see how we can approach it. 
so see uh, let's start from the beginning um we will traverse this is a string right this is a string so we will traverse it from the starting so currently we are here in this uh, in this uh, uh, problem right we will be using a stack we will be using a stack why we are using a stack you will understand when we will dry run so so we have taken a stack right so see uh first of all what we will do so let's uh, name it as s this is a s string let's say whenever s of i fine s of i i is the pointer this pointer s of i is equal to single slash whenever it is equal to single slash we will just continue we will just continue we will not do anything so here single slash is there we will go and we will move i forward so i will come here add dot now the thing is this thing between one slash and the other slash this will be the name of the file like the name of the directory fine so for example here this like this home is between the slashes that is two directories are separated by a slash two directories are separated by a slash hence between this slash and this slash there will be a directory so what we will do we will run a while loop we will have a while loop which will go from this slash till this slash and will calculate this part let's say that part is temp so in the temp right now in the temp we will have these two dots so it will be a string having two dots so whenever we have a we have two dots it means go to the previous directory so right now let's say if we have a and b and we are, i am getting dot dot means i am currently here so when i when i get dot dot i will move to the previous directory and this thing will go from here this will go this will go from here i'll go to the previous directory so whenever see whenever whenever i am getting two dots so if my temp the condition will be if temp is equal equal to two dots something like this then i have to check i have to check i have to check that if there is anything in the stack if there is any if stack is not empty that is if stack is not empty then pop from the stack whatever the current directory is like if a slash b is there so a will be here b will be here now if i get double dot i will remove this b directory because i'm going to the parent directory now so that will be my current directory so i'm skipping i'm going back to the parent directory so now a will be the current directory and we can we can pop out the current directory from the stack so we can do pop otherwise if stack is empty so we will not do anything for this because there is nothing as of now fine so here our i will now come like these will be temp like these will go in while loop and after that our i will be here so here slash is there slash is there right so we will continue now we go ahead now see if between this slash see between this slash this one and this slash there is dot so here while loop in while loop temp will come out to be as if temp will come out to be single dot so temp is like what is temp temp is the string between two slashes right forward slash now whenever there is single dot so here they have told uh that dot refers to a current directory so whenever we get a dot we can say simply we can again simply continue just simply continue because it it signifies the current directory only so let's go forward here now again a slash so continue again a slash continue again a slash continue here also there is slash so continue now between this slash and this slash here while loop will be there and this temp will now store this home 
so temp will now have a string which is home so this is not equal to double dot this is not equal to single dot so now we will get the else condition so i am writing it over here here else condition i am writing here that else if it is not single dot or double dot then what we will do this home we will push in the stack that is s that is stack dot push temp fine so here i am pushing home fine now uh, after this while loop i pointer will come here so this is again a slash again a slash now again foo will be there so in while loop temp will become foo foo and it is also it will go in again in else condition and foo will be pushed in the stack and lastly we will get a slash i slash so we will just continue so see we have traversed this entire string we have traversed the entire string right so see now what we will do our stack has this thing so what our output will be our output will be output will be see slash home output should be slash home slash foo so initial there should be a uh, beginning in the beginning there should be a forward slash path should start with a single slash so slash will have then we'll have this home and then this where there should be slash between two directories there should be a slash they have given in the question between two directories there should be a slash and then there should be the name of the other directory but now see when we will pop from the stack now this will come out first this will come out first how we will deal with this so let's see once we are done with the uh, traversal of the string our stack will have something like this home and we'll have foo so we will take a string res this will be the output string we will have we will in the first step we will add a slash then we will pop out from the stack foo this will be our res in the second step what we will do we have to append this home so this is gone from the stack in the second step see we have to append this home before this foo right so what we have to do we will have a slash plus whatever is popped from the stack s dot top plus this res so this will be the updated res so res will become slash s top is what home slash whatever was the res so res was earlier slash foo so see this will be your no new res so this you can return as output i hope you understood the problem why we are using a stack so let's take one more example to understand that how we will get to know that we have to use a stack so see let's take this example home slash double dot double dot and then let's say have foo so we will follow the same steps as we have done earlier we will take a stack start traversal so single slash ignore it then we will get this home string in temp temp will get this home string we will add home in the stack and then we will go here like i pointer will come here so this is also forward slash ignore it now we will get this double dot so for this double dot what it means go back to the parent directory so earlier what was the condition earlier our double dot when double dot came stack was empty so we did not pop anything so if stack is not empty we will pop now so that's why because this this we are going to the like this home this is the current directory now we are going to the parent directory of this home so whenever we get double dot and there is something in the stack that will get popped out this is not now so we are not going in the home we will go to the home, parent directory of home so that's why we have removed it and then we go here slash ignore it and then foo will be there so in temp we will get foo and foo will come here and that's it we have traversed the string so after that output will be what res is equal to res oh sorry it will be slash plus stack top plus 
whatever the current race is so currently initially race will be empty so empty plus what is the stack top foo and then the forward slash so output will be for this test case output will be slash foo why slash foo why this is gone home is gone because we have here double dot double dot means skip this directory go back to the parent so this means double dot means this is the this is just remove it go back to the previous directory so that's why uh, like for because of this double dot we can think of using a stack because we'll have home here and when we get double dot we will remove it from the stack and previously whatever there is after before home so let's say home before home there was abc so abc will be there in the stack and this home will be removed fine so i hope you understood the problem let's quickly see the code uh, same as we did the dry run so what we are doing here is let me just yeah so see simplify path is given uh, we have taken a stra stack and uh, this is the output rest string we are going to the uh, we are traversing the string path string if it is slash so let's take the uh, let's see that also here we did uh, yeah this one so if the current uh, element was slash we just continue continue then we take temp and we travel we have a while loop we we get the string which is between two slashes so i less than path size and path i not equal to slash until it's not equal to slash whatever there is in path i just store it in temp so we are getting that we are making the temp string so let's say temp is between this slash and this slash which is home or double dot or single dot if temp is single dot continue if temp is double dot and stack is not empty pop it otherwise just uh, else if if uh, there is something in the temp then just push it in the stack so after this uh, uh, traversal we will go in the stack we will pop and we will find make this rest string and if rest string is empty at last we can just simply uh, have a slash in the output so let's submit it i hope you understood the problem uh, let me know in the comments if you have any doubt time complexity for this is uh, o of n we are traversing the string and space is uh, o of n also because we have taken a stack okay, so if you found this video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video